What's going on all my pen friends and stationary addicts? This is Big Bad Brad here from AB Rustic Relics and I have the treat for you. I was recently on Instagram and I spotted out these cool lots from Jet Pens. They're all colored theme and I thought they were just amazing so I had to pick one up and the first one I got as you can see is turquoise. There's all sorts of different stuff. Pilot Statler, Sarasa, and so much more. Well, let's try them out. First up, we're going to be testing out the Pilot V5 Rollerball. This is extra fine turquoise. I like the Pilot V5s quite a bit. They're very smooth pens, lay down the ink very evenly, but I do like a little larger tip. V5, E, F, X to 5, just like me. <laughs> All right, and that is the Pilot V5. Next up on the list is the, the Pilot G Tech C4. This is a very, very fine pen, 0 0.4 millimeters. And I like this quite a bit. This is the perfect pen for those of you that have small writing. And this is a gel pen. And this one is also in turquoise. And that is the Pilot G Tech. I like it quite a bit. I don't know how often I would use it for my writing needs, but it's a cool pen. Next up is one of my favorites, the Stabilo .88. This is a German company, and I always, I pick up these whenever I encounter them at art stores or whatever. I like these pens quite a bit. Stabilo, Stabilo. Point eighty eight. And this is in turquoise. T U R Q. Yeah, those of you follow me, sometimes I I misspell stuff, and turquoise is one of those words. I do quite a bit. You may see it in this video even, if not an upcoming video. And often too, I run out of room. That's the Stabilo 88 point. Fine pen, fine pen. Next up, we have the Paper Mate Inkjoy. Another pen I use quite often. I like the Inkjoy a lot, but I use a lot of them, so I'm glad I got another one to add to the set. And this ink joy is in teal.
and this is a 0 0.7 millimeter pen. Let's see if we can fit to you. Can we fit to you? I'm going to try it anyways. And then you have the Paper Mate Ink Joy. If there's any pens that I'm missing that have a great turquoise or teal color, let me know. Because I'm always looking to expand my arsenal of coloring devices. Next up, the Stabilo 68. And the other Stabilo was a fine point. This one's more like a wide felt tip marker. And that is in turquoise blue. I think by the end of this video, I should be pretty good at spelling turquoise. Another great pen from Stabilo. <laughs> Up next is the Sarasa from Zebra. Zebra is a Japanese company just like Pilot. And this one is blue green. And this pen has a very po fine point also. 0 0.4 millimeters. pen is blue green this pen not really for me you have to keep your pressure just even the right's the best one is straight vertical I kind of like to keep my pen at an angle too fine of a point for me next up we have the Statler tri plus fine liner I like the look of this pen. This would be a good pen here. I'm thinking for adult coloring books and stuff like that. And this comes in a 0 0.3 millimeter. See, this 0 0.3 millimeter seems larger than the Zebra Sarasa 0 0.4 millimeter. Maybe uh, Japanese lines run smaller. Let me know if you know anything about that. And this is French grain. French green. See, I know a little bit about some California green, but I've never heard of no French green. If you know what I mean. I'm sure some of you guys do. This is 2019, you know. 
Here we have the Statler. Next up, we have another Japanese pen, Le Pen by Marvi. This is a fine point in teal. And the lay pen, well, like I said, it's a fine point. They don't have a size, actually, on it. So we're just going to put a big old F. Oh, no. I messed my font up. That's all right. And this is teal. We all can't be perfect. As long as we're having fun, that's all that matters. Big shout-out to Bob Ross for that message. We have happy little mistakes. Next up is the Sachihata Artline Box Pen. That's a mouthful. Achihata. Oh, Sachihata. Let me know how bad I'm saying that, please. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this here. Sachihata. Ooh, I messed it up. I bet you guys seen that. Artline Blacks Pen. And this is a 0 0.4 millimeter. I like this pen quite a bit. I like it so much it's distracting me. I started looking at it and that's when I started making mistakes. So you can cap this pen, which is one cool thing. You can also stick the cap onto the pen, like a little Lego action here too. Which makes it fun, so you could probably do some unique combinations. If you had more than one, you could hook them together and draw two lines at once. Perhaps even three or four. So that's a fun pen. And this is turquoise. Definitely like that pen. And stick around to the end if you'd like to know which ones are my favorite. I'll tell you my top three. And maybe perhaps even a few honorable mentions. And so we have the Zebra Sarasa Push Clip. <coughs> and this is a Milk Blue Green. I don't know what an old Milk Blue... It's definitely an odd color name. If I had some blue milk, I'd probably send it back. I like to feel these. I like to pick up a few more colors, maybe even a set. This is a 0 0.5 millimeter. So, not too small. Good writing pen. And milk blue green.
Next up, we have the Statler Texture Classic Highlighter with Twist Cap. And sorry to let you down, I'm not going to try to fit this in this tiny little space here. So I'm just going to rock a nice straight line across. And then I, I'm just going to write it with a different pen. Gray highlighter, and you'll see too, these highlighters are nice to write over as I'm about to show you. We're going to write over it with uh, the Paper Mate Ink Joy. And this is the Statler Texture Text Surfer Classic. Writes very nicely over the top of. Next, the Pilot G2. Perfect for class, the office, the great regular writer. I'm quite familiar with this pen. And a very nice writer. And I haven't had much problems with any of these pens skipping. Some of the ones that were the most fussy were probably the Zebra Sarasa. It was pretty fussy. And I, I like quite a bit of the other ones. The Pilot g Tech for an ultra fine point. I liked it, but definitely wouldn't pick that on my own. G2. And this is a .7 millimeter pen that's probably about my preferred size maybe a little smaller this is in turquoise next the pilot friction a new favorite of mine. I've seen them a lot and I finally got one the other day. If you want to check out my first experience, the Pilot Frixion, I just picked them up in a earlier video. Um, we were up in Madison pen shopping and I picked up a few of them and I fell in love with them. So this is right with this. I don't have this color yet either, so it's nice. Pilot Frixion. This is a gel point in, in 0.7 millimeters. And this is also in turquoise. Next up, the Pilot Juice. The Pilot Juice is a 0.38 millimeter pen in turquoise green. Very fine. Another pen that's probably not for me. It'd be good for artists and people with very small handwriting. And this is in turquoise green.
Not a bad pen though. And these have cool clips for an extra secure grip. Also good for gripping over larger stuff, maybe a backpack strap or your collar of your shirt, whatever. And the last pen we have is the Pilot Acroball. One point millimeter in turquoise. And there's the Pilot Acroball. Well, that is it. Let me let, show you what my favorites are. The Pilot Frixion. The Statler Highlighter. The Pilot Precise V5. Paper Mate Ink Joy. And... Uh, it's a toss up between the Art Line Blocks and the Stabilo. Art Line Blocks, just because it's fun, but I think the Stabilo is going to take it. Let me know which one your favorite. You like the Ultra Fine, you like a bright, beautiful blue, or do you like a more traditional blue? And if you want to check out these out, these pens out, make sure to click on the the link below and that will bring you to the Jet Pens page. They have a huge selection of colored lots. They also have fountain pen, fountain pen sampler sets, ballpoint sampler sets, tons of different stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Big Bad Brad bringing you turquoise blue and until next time, ciao man.